Leco's Chromatoff Tile is a powerful software tool that can streamline data analysis and help researchers dig deeper into their GCGC data to efficiently find differences. Here we are highlighting an application project where we are comparing a set of four coffee samples. We have medium and dark roast coffees from two different geographical origins, Costa Rica and Kona. We analyze these samples in triplicate with the Pegasus BT4D. Our primary goal was to explore differences related to the roast level. This type of non-targeted analysis can be challenging, especially in situations like this where the samples are complex and appear to be quite similar by visual review. For this data, we also have the potential for other variation between the samples with the different geographical origins. Chromatoff Tile can simplify this task by rapidly comparing the raw data to find the regions of the chromatogram where there are differences between our specific sample groups. For this project, we use the Fisher Ratio option in Chromatoff Tile. This is the class-to-class -class variation relative to the within-class variation. It's a nice choice here because it helps highlight differences between specific sample classes in data sets where other variation and differences are also expected. So we can focus on the roast level differences, for example, and ignore the origin differences. After processing with these options, Chromatoff Tile compiles information in this chemical features table. Here we have a focused list of some of the analytes that differ between the medium and dark roast samples. In the table across the bottom, we have analyte names with similarity score, retention index information, and other identification metrics. In the top corner, we have the observed spectral information and the library match. The relative trends across the sample set are shown in the bar chart. Here, the first six bars are the medium roast samples, and the next six are the dark roast samples. We also have the intensity information for all 12 samples tabulated in these columns at the back of the table. These can be displayed with their values or as a heat map, which is another nice way to visualize the trends. Our table here is sorted by heat map. At the top of the table, we can see some of the analytes that are higher in the medium roast coffee. We've added aroma notes and we can see some descriptors like bready, buttery, caramel, creamy, and coffee. At the bottom of our table, we have some of the analytes that are higher in the dark roast coffee. Here we see aroma descriptors more like phenolic, burnt, coffee, spicy, fruity, and roasted. Tile helped us focus on the most interesting regions of the chromatogram so that we could quickly get to this type of information about our samples. It does this through a chromatographic tiling approach where grids of retention windows are used to link the samples to each other and for the comparison across the sample set. We set up a data processing method in Chromatoff Tile. We select the samples that we want to compare from our Chromatoff database. Then we group the samples into their classes. Here we have our medium and dark roast samples. The data processing parameters are used to set the tile size and various other thresholds. Different comparison options can be selected, which gives flexibility for different experimental designs and analysis objectives. Library search parameters and retention index landmarks can also be entered before clicking begin to start the data processing. After processing, the software points us to the locations in the chromatograms that have differences and meet all of the thresholds. This information is compiled for review here in the hit location window. In the top corner, we see the locations of the chromatographic windows where there are differences. In the bottom corner, we see the masses that differ for each of these chromatographic windows. And on the right side, we see an averaged contour plot for each of our sample classes. The medium roast is on top and the dark roast is on bottom. These views make it easy to review and interact with the data and to curate the chemical features. This can be done either manually or with the auto curation tools. Chromatoff Tile is an efficient way to focus your analysis so that you can quickly find the important information in your data. In this example, we explored coffee and roast level differences but this tool has broad applicability for many types of samples and experiments when the analysis goals involve comparing different classes or groups of samples with each other.